Assalamualaikum class. Today we are going to study first order linear differential equation. Linear differential equation model phenomena as diverse as an automobile suspension system, the swaying of the bridge, the damping of the skyscraper. We study this important class of equation. We take the advantage of the technique that are not available when we study non-linear equation. I hope you will understand better after watching this. First order differential equation may be expressed in the form y prime plus p of x into y equals to q of x, where q of x is the input, and the coefficient of y prime must be one, and our integral factor is p of x. The term which is present with y is our integral factor. It is expressed i equals to exponential integral p of x into d of x. We find integral factor by this method. Then we multiply this equation by integrating factor, and we have this form. On left hand side we have integrating factor, and on the right hand side, this form can be closed by d upon d of x. Integrating factor and y, and this right hand side as it is. In the next step, we take integral on both the sides. When we take integral on left hand side, d and integral will be cancel out, and this d of x it goes to right hand side, and this i will be divided. On integration, we find our general solution. Let's do one of the example. We have one example y prime. Plus x of y equals to x with initial condition y is three when x is zero. So first we see that our coefficient of y prime is one. Then in the next step we find p of x. P of x is the the term which is present with y, which is positive x here. So I write integrating factor i equals to exponential. Integral and p of x, which is positive x, and d of x. We know that the integral of x is x square upon two, so we have exponential x square upon two, our integral factor. Now we multiply by the integral factor to this complete equation. So we have exponential x square upon two. And this term, as it is, y prime plus x y equals to exponential x square upon two, and this x as it is. Now, in the next step, we close this by writing d upon d of x, and here we have integral factor, which is exponential x square upon two. With y and equals to this term as it is, now we take integral on both the sides. This dx will come here, and this d and integral will be cancel out. So now in the next step, y into exponential x square upon two equals to x exponential x square upon two into d of x. We solve this right hand integral by substitution method. Let u is equals to x square upon two. Then du will become 2x by 2 and d of x. This 2 and 2 will be cancel out. So we have x dx equals to du. So y exponential x square upon 2 equals to this x and d of x is equal to du and this exponential x square upon 2 is u. So this is why exponential x square upon two is equals to 
exponential u integral same as it is plus some constant or y is equals to this exponential x square upon 2 we write in the place of u because u is x square upon 2 and we shift this exponential x square upon 2 to right hand side as well this is plus sign when it goes to right it will become minus sign so we have exponential minus x square upon 2 into e u is x square upon 2 plus some constant or y is equals to when we multiply we get 1 plus c time exponential minus x square upon 2 now we put our condition when y is 3 x is 0 so y is 3 and x is 0 means we have 1 plus c exponential 0 which is 1 so c is 2 so we put c answer in this equation so y is equals to 1 plus 2 times exponential minus x square upon 2 and this is our general solution example y prime plus y sin x equals to exponential cos x with condition y is 2.5 when x is 0 we see that the coefficient of y prime is 1 and the term which is present with y is our p of x so this plus sign of x is our p of x so p of x is this plus sine of x and our integral factor is exponential sine x and d of x and we know that the integral of sine is minus cosine so integral factor will become exponential minus cosine x now we multiply this in integral factor by equation number this so we have exponential minus cos x and here y prime plus y sin x and on the right hand side when i multiply by integral factor exponential minus cos x with this both will be cancel out and i have only one so this can be closed d upon d of x integral factor with y and this one as it is so we take integral on both the sides this dx will come here and this d and integral will be cancel out and we have y exponential minus of cos x equals to the integral of dx d and this cancel out we have only x plus some con okay so we can write y is equals to this goes to right side it will become exponential of cos x into x plus some constant and exponential cos of x or we can write is equal to exponential cos x common and we have x plus c now y is 2.5 and x is 0 so cos 0 is 1 and x is 0 plus some constant and then our c will become 2.5 divided by e this is our c now we put uh, the value of c in this equation and we have y equals to exponential cos x and x plus c which is 2.5 divided by exponential and this is our general solution i repeat one more time uh, first we see that the coefficient of this first derivative must be 1 and if it is other than 1 then we divide the complete equation with that term then uh, we find our p of x which is the term present with y so as we see here we have sin x and that is our integral factor exponential integral of p of x after finding integral factor we multiply this complete equation by integrating factor on left and right side then we close that with d upon d of x integral factor and y 
and right hand side as it is then we take integral both the sides this will always will be cancel out and here we solve after solving uh, we see that either initial condition is given or not if it is given then we impose that and find c and then put the answer c back in this and then we find our solution i hope you have understood better thank you